guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Modesty33 here, AKA Crystal with a C. Back at you with another video. If you're new to my channel, you just happen to click on. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I try to put out one or two videos a week. I do sit downs, reviews, reactions, vlogs. So if any of that interests you, make sure you check out the prior videos on my channel. And if you see anything you like before you leave, make sure you subscribe. So today you guys, I'm actually gonna um, be filming a video. I'm just gonna be doing um, one reaction video and it, this video should catch me up with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. as of now. I don't know if there's a new episode this weekend, so I probably will get behind probably one episode again, but it'll be, it'll be well. We'll catch up again eventually. I think the season is about to come to a close in the upcoming weeks. So, and then, like I mentioned before, after I finish with S.H.I.E.L.D., I am going to go back to Legion, um, record that, and then we'll look at doing some other things. I did get a few recommendations for some shows. Got to do some research and check a few things out, and maybe we'll, you know, we'll, we'll start a new show. We'll see. But if not, I do still have other videos that I do on my channel and other video ideas, so just be on the lookout for that. But yeah, we're going to do Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 6, Episode 11. I think it's called From the Ashes. So I did um, just upload episode nine, Collision Course Part Two. Episode 10, um, hopefully I can get that edited and out to you guys. I would say next week, um, I, I'm pretty booked the rest of this week. So I'm thinking probably next week, you guys, we'll see what my time is like. But yeah, I just uploaded episode nine, so definitely check that out if you have not seen that already. Um, the volume is a little weird and off. I don't know why, but that happens at times when I record. So I hope it's not too distracting or, you know, like annoying. It was annoying to me when I watched it back, but hopefully you guys do enjoy it still. But yeah, I did really enjoy that episode. And then we saw a few things that happened on the um in part of the episode, we did lose Jocko. I predicted we were probably gonna lose Jocko or Davis. Um, and so, yeah, like that was, um, yeah, that's, we lost both ended up. So, <laughs> so yeah, that was episode, yeah, nine. Actually, I've seen episode 10, so I don't know. I'm, I'm a little off, you guys, I apologize. But yeah, I've already seen episode 10, which was Leap. And so I just haven't edited it yet, but the last, I just edited and uploaded episode nine. So that's where my head is at. But yeah, we, I, I predicted in episode nine that we were going to lose Jocko or Davis and we ended up losing both. Yeah, unfortunately. So yeah, episode nine, we lost Jocko. Episode 10, we lost Davis. And that was so sad to me, y'all. That was like probably the biggest thing from episode 10. Outside of the reveal about SARS that, like he was created from the um, monoliths exploding because one of the monoliths um, controls creation. So when Coulson went in to close up the hole from, you know, all three of the monoliths exploding in season five, and then, you know, it created that whole fear dimension and all of that. Like when Coulson went in to close it, it created a clone of himself. And essentially it sent the clone of himself like back to the original planet where the monoliths came from, which is a planet of beings without form. So that's what we found out about Coulson, so that the memories that he has are actually echoes of Coulson's memory. But yeah, he's not Coulson, he's this um, Apache Kuta or something, I don't know, I don't know how to say that, but he is one of the beings from that other planet and he forgot who he was because he had these echoes of Coulson's memory and Izel essentially, I guess, is another one of those beings. She was able to manifest a body for herself as well. And she's able to leap between bodies. And that's how Davis ended up meeting his untimely end. I just thought that was really sad. Like, that was the saddest part to me because, like, Izel had, like, gone into, pa like, Piper. I keep wanting to call her Paige. But, like, Izel had gone into Piper and, like... Mac had ordered Davis to shoot her, like to shoot her, to wound her. And he said, sir, I cannot shoot Piper. Like, oh, I was so like, oh my gosh, they're like siblings. They're like brother and sister. Like they bicker so much. Like Davis like loved Piper. Like he legitimately loved Piper. Like he couldn't even, he disobeyed a direct order to shoot her. And even just to wound her, he couldn't do it. He said, sir, I cannot shoot Piper. Like... I was like, oh, and then Davis died. I was just like, man, Davis was a good dude. He had a little youngin' and, uh, you know, I think a wife. I don't know. But 
Man, that, that was really sad to me because I've really loved Davis over the past like year of us kind of watching him and all that. So that was really sad. Yeah, so um, I'm just going to go ahead and get into this episode. This one is called From the Ashes. So we ended off with like um, Izell hopping into Yo-Yo and then Matt going and following her. Um, and they were going to take the Zephyr, I think. And so it kind of left everyone else behind. So we're going to go ahead and get started into this reaction. So um, I will see you guys on the other side with my review and observations. Bye, guys. Why is she keeping us alive? She thinks we have information on a, a taco where the model is meant to be taken. Is that really Mac or is it Isel? Isel took the gravitonium device. Well, she can keep hurting us all she wants. We don't know anything about these temples. The only one that we know is Benson. Benson? Well, that's the name I haven't heard before. I uh, see, I knew it. I was like, okay. Is that her pretending to be mad? Yep. Izel can instantly gain control of a host body's primary motor cortex. Oh, while simultaneously placing the brain into an unconscious state. It's actually a very complex piece of neurochemistry. What do you got, Dean? Keep around there lurking. That's a good point. A paradigm could be limited. Yeah, right, we wouldn't want to limit ourselves. Honestly, maybe it's just tech. Yeah, it could just be. Dean, yeah, I think that's doubtful. We'll find something. We're on top. Look at <laughs> If you have his memories, can feel what he felt. I'm hoping that you will not the cure for your loneliness. Ooh. Dang. Oh my gosh. I wish he was back. To remind you of the days I was your SM. Mm. And also, to look for the good no matter how scared you are to face it. Dang. You want to force it out of him? Go ahead. But if it backfires, it's on you. We have enough to worry about with Mac and Yo-Yo, M.I.A. Hey, man. Everybody drop your face around here. She will. Well, do you have a location? Well, I've narrowed it down to three possible streets. But my money is on the one at the intersection of two lane lines. It would prove Keller right once again. I'll make sure to tell him you said that. Oh... Look. He'd be amused. All right, perfect. So well, we'll start there then. Well, I, I think it's go. best if we get some hard evidence. <gasps> oh, shoot! Random guy died. This death doesn't scare me. Maybe it doesn't. But there must be something you fear. Enjoying this, aren't you? Trying to torture me. Working out your own rage. They mm -hmm. said I was like a father to you. You got some daddy issues. You are nothing to me. Do you understand? You are nothing. So if you think that this manipulative crap is going to work on me, you're wasting your time. Stacy, we need to find something right now because I'm not getting anywhere with this thing that's downstairs. Maybe because you don't want to listen to what he has to say. Exactly. What? Come on, best friends, work it out. There was a reason you rushed off to space last year. I went with you to find Fitz. We both know it wasn't just that. You have a pattern. It happened after you got your powers. After Lincoln, you walked away. That has nothing to do with it. Everything around here reminded you of Coulson. So you left. You didn't want to face him. Simmons. But now you are literally facing him. Or someone that looks like him. Mm -hmm. Out of the three... The Diala of creation was the most powerful. It reaches into your mind and builds what you see. Your people have great imaginations, but lack the control to create anything other than what you fear. It seems to me like a good reason to leave it alone. Uh, I'd rather see what it finds in you. Oh, no. Oh, yeah.
did you just do? <laughs> I took your advice. I stopped running from the problem and I tackled it head on. I meant try a little emotional honesty, not murder. <laughs> you were so close, I could smell the liquor on your breath. Dang. Take over Earth? Is that gonna 
be Chronica 3? I don't know. Because that's kind of the only way I kind of see what they're doing kind of ties into what's happening here on Earth is if they're planning on making Earth Chronica 3 and they plan on like doing a conquest or a yeah, takeover of Earth. <clears throat> so anyway, guys, that was Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. season 6, episode 11 from The Ashes. Um, and that was a really good episode as well. We got more answers as far as Sarge is concerned. And, um, man, I thought there were a, a lot of good emotional beats in this episode. And um, really just, like, everyone holding each other accountable. Like, people hold, hold each other accountable. That was really good. Like, May was trying to tell Daisy, like, listen, um, I don't think you need to be going this route as far as trying to wake up whatever is inside of him in him. Um, Colson is still in there and Daisy was not trying to hear it and even Simmons had to pull it to the side like come on sis come on best friend come on let's have a conversation she's like because let me tell you about your patterns of, of your life in case nobody has ever told you because we've been the team we've been here riding riding a dime with you for almost six years now six full years and let, let's tell, let us tell you about the patterns of your life like you know when you got your powers when your parents died you know when your mama died your daddy you know got reassigned and his memory got wiped you know when Lincoln died like what you do your pattern of behavior is you like to run and avoid and escape and, you know, why did you come into spit, that space so quick with me to try to find fit? She's like, oh, well, there was nothing here for me. Like, no, no, no. Everything here reminded you of Colson. So you need to get, you know, don't get beside yourself. You need to go ahead and regroup so you're not making any rash mistakes here. So she did, because um, I was wondering what that letter was last episode that we saw and that was the same letter if, yeah I remember that's the same letter that Colson gave to her but she never read it so it probably was too painful to read it and so she decided to go ahead and read it and she still wanted to move forward with a course of action because that kind of that letter just kind of convinced her even more that it was not Colson and she did not care what May Daisy like well not Daisy but she didn't care what May Fitzsimmons or Shaw <laughs> Fitzsimmons or he you know said about it like she was like no like I don't think that's Colson and she wanted to see if the sword worked to kill him and um you know then after she you know killed him the second time came to discover that like he's every time he dies and comes back it seems like more of his memories come back more of the memories of Colson comes back to him so like he called her Sky and it just like kind of stopped her in her tracks and so um it seems like they're gonna really try to lean on Sarge in order to try to stop Izell from her plans then you had the whole thing with Izell Mac and um Benson as well as Yo-Yo and all of that go on um and Izell is able to use the Gravitonium device and um you know, use it to create or, like, to manifest people's fears. You know, really, in a sense, to manipulate and get them to do what she want to do. She did that with Benson, and um, so Benson did give her the coordinates of where her temples were, or where her temple was in order for her to bring her people through the portal so that they can inhabit, um, you know, people's bodies. So it, it seems like... Um, so I guess the purpose of the strike were to go ahead and inhabit people's bodies and then like once um, she was able to, she's able to find the monoliths and get them to like bring her people through, then the same people inhabit the strike bodies, like the bodies that the strike are in. And so Deke figured it out that essentially she's able to like her powers work on a harmonious like melodic level it's a frequency and i think that was kind of mentioned last episode when daisy was able to kill all the strike because she's able with her quake abilities to go from a frequency and i think too because of that little device that sarge had that you know again repels the strike it's based off of a frequency so you would you would think that the same thing would work with ISL. So, Deke was able to figure that out. I thought it was really cute, the three of them together, because of the way Fitzsimmons work together and how Deke is trying to... <laughs> how Deke is trying to, like, essentially find his place among the both of them, but they're so used to one another. So, it's just like... It was kind of like... <laughs> It was like so cute to me because he kept tagging along and 
trying to like get in the middle of like their thought process because Fitz Simmons have this like thought process when they go back and forth and he kept trying to, to kind of get in the middle of their thought process to interject certain thoughts or whatever but in the end Deke was able to figure out that like oh it's based on a frequency and it's like oh yeah, so Deke actually came clutch this episode, you know, with the grandparents, with Bobo and Mama, whatever he calls Simmons. But, um, yeah, so that was really cool. I thought that was very cute, just their whole interaction. So I look forward to more of that, the Deke, the Fitzsimmons Shaw. <laughs> yes, so, um, yeah, so that was, it was a really good episode. I really enjoyed it. So, um, and you see Mac and Yo-Yo are trying to work out their relationship. And we saw that little cameo at the end of the little boy. I don't remember his name. I say little boy, but, like, it was the guy that they met in space. And essentially, like, um, the last we saw of him is, um, that was, like, in the other timeline. That's when they went back to Earth. And then him and the other girl were on board the ship. I don't remember what her name was. I don't remember his name either. But, um, and they were trying to, like, take the people. And they were going to, I think, create a new Earth and go on a new Earth. I don't know what they were actually, where their actual destination was. But, yeah, like, that was kind of like Yo-Yo and Matt kind of almost adopted him like a son. So, that's crazy, like, to see him. Um, I thought it was going to be Hope, Mac's daughter, but like Mac said, like they, he's already faced his fears. He's lost Hope essentially twice already, so um, you would think hopefully that he's kind of dealt with that, even though you know you wouldn't definitely want to go through that again, but I thought that was really different and creative that they went that direction with that guy because he essentially like he essentially was like a surrogate son for Mac and Yo-Yo, so that was really cool. Um, what else? I'm trying to think. I think that was pretty much the episode, you guys. So I really did enjoy it from the ashes. So hopefully, again, I can get this one edited out to you guys probably in the next week. But if you enjoyed this reaction, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Also, make sure you do share it with anyone else who's watching Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And make sure you comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about this episode. And before you leave, make sure you do subscribe to the channel. Again, you do that by hitting the red button below and hitting the bell next to it so you're notified when I do upload future videos. Again, you guys, I thank you so very much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.